I recently made this spooky Halloween animation in Blender. In this tutorial, I want to use it as an example to share three useful tips to make your CG animations look more realistic. Let's get started. At first, I needed assets to fill up my scene. Since I want to make it as realistic as possible, I decided to go to an abandoned building nearby and capture some photo scans. Photo scanning makes realism so much easier since you get all the detailed textures and imperfections of the real world. It is also a lot of fun to go out and find inspiration in the world around you. Photogrammetry has never been that easy and affordable as it is now. Basically all you need is a smartphone. If you want to learn how to create and process photo scans with your phone, check out this tutorial I made a while back. In addition to the scans I made, visiting the abandoned building was also really valuable to gather references and find inspiration. Unfortunately, I couldn't do as many scans as I wanted since a lot of places were just too overgrown or didn't have enough light to get usable scans. Back home I optimized the captures and prepared them in a separate blend file. You can download all of them for free with the link in the video description. In the end, I also used some assets from the Quixel Megascans library to fill up the scene. One of the biggest challenges for this project was to animate the three characters. Manually animating them is really hard and takes a lot of time, especially for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of experience with character animation. This is why I recommend you to make use of motion capture. This is not only a lot faster, but also a lot more realistic. For this project I used the Smartsuit Pro 2 that Rococo has sent me. It was really easy to set up and connect with the computer. Once connected, I can do any movement and directly record it with the Rococo Studio app. Additionally, you can also add the smart gloves to record the movement of the hands and fingers. But don't worry if you can't afford to invest in motion capture gear like this. There is a free alternative available. Rococo Vision is an AI based video motion capture tool. All you need is a video of you acting out the movements. Upload it to their servers and you'll get back a 3D character doing the exact same motion. It isn't as precise as the smart suit, but it is 100% free to use. However, you can get very precise results by uploading two videos with different perspectives of your acting. This is a new feature and requires you to get the pro version. But you can test it out for free with a 14 day trial. So I acted out the movements for the three different characters and recorded them with the smart suit. The characters themselves are from Mixamo.com and can be downloaded for free. I then brought both the Mixamo characters and the motion capture data into Blender and did the retargeting. If you want a detailed explanation on how this workflow with Rococo and Blender works, you can check out the video description. I made a list with in-depth tutorials that perfectly explain this process. For a CG animation to look believable, not only the assets but also the animation of the camera must feel natural. Currently, the camera animation in my scene is too perfect. In reality, the camera would shake and wiggle around quite a bit as if someone was holding it in their hand. That's why I really like the Camera Shakeify add-on by Ian Hubert and Nathan Vectol. It is completely free and you can download it with the link in the video description. With it installed, simply go to the camera properties and in the panel of the add-on you can quickly add various realistic camera shake presets. In this case I use the walk to the store preset. You can then also adjust the intensity of the shake. For this animation, I also prepared a simple rig that makes animating the camera a lot easier. So in this case, you can see that I have the camera, a spotlight that I used as the flashlight and the target empty. When I move the empty around, you can see that the camera and the light always follow along. I can also take the camera and move it around and it will always point towards the empty. This makes animating the camera a lot easier because I can just animate the position of the camera and the position of the empty and I don't have to worry about keyframing the rotation of the camera. So let me quickly show you how this is set up. Alright, so here we have the same scene as before 
However, our rig is not working yet. So first of all, we want the camera to point towards the MT. To do this, select the camera, go to the constraints properties and add in a track to constraint. Then simply select our MT as the target and now you can see that the camera is already pointing towards the MT. Now we just need to do the same thing with the light, so select it, add in a track to constraint and select the MT. Now when I move the MT around, both the camera and the light are following along. However, when I move the camera, you can see that the light still stays in place. To fix this, select the light, then shift click on the camera and press Ctrl P to parent it to the object. And now I can move the camera around and the light also follows along. Or I can move the empty and both of them point towards it. This makes camera animation a lot more intuitive. That's it for this tutorial. I hope you could pick up some useful tips and tricks. And also don't forget to check out Rococo and all their amazing mocap resources. As I mentioned earlier, they have some really useful stuff available, both free and paid. All the links are in the video description. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.